Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad and uh, in today's video we're gonna check uh, into the 14th of September uh, 2022 and uh, see what uh, the day has in store for us all through the eyes of Taro and uh, if you are interested into having a personal reading with me you can always go to my website uh, where you can view and purchase uh, any of my services so with that said, let's uh, cut and uh, see what we have. Uh, the first one that's going to be uh, the it's the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the second card for the day, which stands as the three of uh, it's the three of Pentacles, and the third card uh, that's going to be uh, the five of cups. These three cards, and uh, this is how uh, the Elemental Dignity spread stands. Well, the most prominent thing uh, in, in this Wednesday is going to be that person. I mean, this person here, which is the uh, Knight of Pam. Knight of Pentacles, well, I was about to say King of Pentacles, I don't know, but Knight of Pentacles, and uh, actually uh, throughout the day we're going to have a lot of things, uh, or rather like we're going to find that we do have a lot of things in common, primarily into our disappointments, so literally uh, the first thing that came to my mind when I drew these cards was, oh my god, there is a person that is very close to us or it is around us right now that is disappointed or gets disappointed by almost the very same things that we are disappointed too. So that is like a very big and solid common ground which we are going to establish with someone around us. Now this doesn't restrict itself only around uh, social circles could be also within our career being frustrated about a specific aspect about the job and we do find an ally into that frustration of ours. Uh, and uh, the day is going to be about the mutual support that we are going to give to each other. We will support them as much as they are going to support us and that is going to pretty much form a cooperation. Very strong, steadfast, and having the sheer will to prevail, cooperation. The cooperation itself is not going to be scattered or chaotic, for the lack of a better word, because if we don't, that person is going to have a pretty, a pretty good idea what should be done next. I mean, they are a type of an individual that kind of like follows the enterprise step by step, one thing leads to another until the goal and the aim at the end of the day is pretty much accomplished and complete. Uh, these people, they are very simplistic in a sense of that they do not strive for luxury. They do not kind of like... Um, have a complicated day-to-day -day routine and so on and so forth. They are kind of like no matter how much influence or money or, or resources or capabilities they do have, they do prefer the simple way of life. And that is literally how we uh, can figure out who this person is at that, uh, at that given moment when we do listen, or as I am saying uh, or as i am saying this reading also uh they are people who like to spend time among nature uh, among nature as well uh, uh, uh alongside with the com with the cooperations there are also going to be a fruitful discussions in between us and that person as well criticizing each other about why we have put it ourselves into or how we have put it ourselves into uh, the situation we are finding ourselves into right now and again this is about a disappointing situation and uh, through these fruitful discussions with this person uh, it will be realized that uh, this, this disappointments we do have 
they are not something to die from the world doesn't end here and at the end of the day life goes on and the only thing we gotta do is just keep on walking with it so any disappointment that we have experienced uh recently is gonna become lighter to our heart in another or uh, in other words we are going to realize that that's just a temporary disappointment or any losses that we have suffered we are also going to realize that these the, these were a partial losses and just because we ended up disappointed or uh, bereft doesn't mean that we should abandon the primary goal and when i say primary goal they, there are only two but primary goals three actually to be successful to be happy to find love and uh talking about love uh, some of you may be asking well that could that be my partner could that be my suitor yes very very possible also some of you may be asking well if that's uh, such a good match for the time being is it possible to be uh, some romantic emotions to be developed yes it's possible but it's a far stretch at least at that given stage because uh, we do have a very uh, how can i put it into words we do have a very very uh, static energy in a, uh, with these cards in a sense of unmoving unyielding energy and before it moves actually it needs to know why it moves is it really worth moving forward and in order that to happen you gotta first earn their trust and show that you are reliable and if that's something that works for you doing then for them it's gonna work doing the same thing and also moving the relationship forward in a, in a different stage whether a business partnership whether romantic relationship as well and uh lastly uh, that could be also a person that you do know for a very long time but maybe you have lost touch for a quite a while now so with that said guys uh, that was your uh daily tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around until then bye